Please read Exodus 15 verse 26 and see the conditions. Conditions that must be satisfied before you will live the rest of your life never seek again. When you are to sign a contract, your lawyer will advise you read the fine lines, the fine prints. Check what are the conditions. For example, Exodus 15, 26, he said, number one, diligently hacking. He didn't say diligently here. He said diligently hacking. Hacking means you listen as if your very life depends on it. <laughs> And in case there are some of you who are listening to me for the first time and you've never heard me define hacking for you before, I will quickly tell you. I told those of you who have heard it before that when I was at Elisha Grammar School, we had a tutor, tutor of geography, that whenever examination is near, he will call us together and ask us to ask him questions on what he had taught us. And the older students have told us what to do whenever that occasion occurs. Ask him questions. He will explain everything in detail. And tomorrow when you get to the examination hall, it is the questions you asked him yesterday that is going to ask you in the exam. So we practically set our own examination in geography in those days. And when he's answering our questions on the day that we are asking him questions, we, ju we didn't just listen. We hacking. We took note of everything he's saying because we know that is coming out tomorrow. So if you're hacking on the day that you are asking questions and he says he's revising with you, you can never fail the following day. Hacking is not, list, not merely listening. When he's teaching us in the classroom in, those, in the days, normal day, school days, we hear, yeah, we did the hacking. We waited the day of revision. Then we hacken. Exodus 15 verse 26 says, you must hacken diligently. That's with all, your, with all your attention, with all your strength. That's number one. As if you want to live for the rest of your life without sickness, hacken diligently. 